hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is like my 10th time trying to record this intro i have ava sitting here beside me and Raina was not having it so she's gonna have to just join us for this intro today hey. if you guys are new here hi welcome my name is candace and i post videos on motherhood lifestyle beauty and i also do vlogging if that sounds like your jam go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload today's video i'm gonna to keep it pretty short and sweet I just wanted to share with you guys something that I worked on over the weekend I know a lot of children have already started going back to school but um, I just don't feel comfortable with Ava going back to school right now especially having a newborn baby in the house so I put together this little like learning board for her so that we can go over some things here at home and just kind of keep her on track with what they're doing in school. Full disclosure, it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to, but it still came out nice. So I just wanted to share it with you in case it's something that you all wanted to do as well. I'm not gonna make this a long intro because I don't think Miss Raina is going to allow it. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so these are some of the items that I got from the store. I ended up ordering curbside at Michael's, so that was super convenient, especially with the new baby. And um, the rest of the stuff I was able to get one of my friends to grab for me from this like teacher supply store down here. So I got some construction paper and this cardstock stuff over here to kind of go along with the theme. I got some really big letters for Ava's name and these letters here for her alphabet. I found this poster with the days of the week because I definitely want to have that on her board. And I also have a poster with the months of the year. All right, so here's what I have so far. I took the poster boards and cut out all of the months of the year and days of the week signs, put it on top of white paper, and then also put um, another layer of purple underneath to go with my theme. I just glued all of these days of the week to this purple paper, and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. And it's basically, it's a frozen theme, so I'm going for purples, blues, and things like that. Um, hopefully it comes together nicely, but we'll see. Okay, so everything is coming along nicely. For all of these little name plates, I use these little stickers here that I got from um, Michaels. So we have the birthday, we have how old she is, my name is, and then this here I have to cut out. So I'm just gonna finish cutting everything out and getting all of my stuff organized and then I'll come back. All right, so I just finished cutting out a whole bunch of these little squares. Um, I did the numbers already. These are all three inches every way around equal. These are four inches because I want to be able to put the capital letter with the lowercase letter. And I don't know if I actually left enough space now that I'm looking at it this way. We'll see. Hopefully it'll work itself out. Sorry, that's my daughter back there. But um, yeah, I have these stickers here and I'm just gonna stick the letters onto the little cards and I will be almost finished with all my cutting. All right, so I'm finally done with all of my cutting. I've got my days of the week, I've got my month, I have the colors, birth dates, her age, alphabet, numbers. We do have some safe shapes here as well. So I'm just gonna kind of play around with all of this stuff on the board and see how I can fit it. So this is what I have come up with so far. So I put the name up here at the top with some snowflakes. I found this little Elsa picture in one of Ava's coloring books. Got the numbers. I had to readjust a few things. I had to readjust almost everything. It was way too big for the board and everything wasn't able to fit. 
So I had to readjust some things, which is why I had to move the name up to the top. We got the days of the week, got the month. The only thing that I'm missing is her birth date. So I'll probably fill that in tomorrow. And alphabets, I ended up having to cut these into little circles because the squares were way too big. I definitely underestimated how big these letters were. So if you guys decide to do a board like this, definitely take into consideration how large some of these letters are so that you don't make the same mistake. guys so i hope you all enjoyed that video i hope you found it to be helpful if you guys decide to do a board as well and just be mindful of spacing i was not very mindful of spacing and i had to go back and rearrange a lot of things also make sure to leave a little space above for uh if you decide to put one of these boards at the top and reyna is having a fit right now so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short i'll see you guys on the next video